Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video I'm gonna be showing you guys a full heist in first-person mode in next-gen GTA 5 now when Rockstar announced that first-person mode was gonna be a huge part of their game I immediately thought of heist firstly in single-player and when we eventually get them in Grand Theft Auto online So this is the jewelry store heist right here Of course when you rob Vangelico now I have decided to go in loud and dumb guns a-blazing And I wanted to do the entire thing in first-person mode to show you guys what a first-person heist would look like like. So I definitely recommend you hit that subscribe button. I'm going to be doing more next gen GTA 5 videos like this throughout the next few months and of course GTA Online content as well. So definitely subscribe and how this video is going to work. I'm going to show you the full 12 or 13 minute heist that I go on and I'm going to jump in parts and kind of explain what I was going through and how the first person mode really affected, you know, what I was doing. So Michael and Lester, they're breaking down the heist right now. And from here on out, it's going to be in complete first person mode. I really enjoy doing heist this way. I absolutely can't wait for it to be this way in Grand Theft Auto Online. First person really makes these heist modes spectacular and just puts them over the edge. So with that out of the way, I'm going to jump out for a little bit. Like I said, I'm going to cut in and, and talk to you guys about what's up. But basically, this is heist in first person in GTA 5. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Waiting on you, kid. Christian. Take the truck with the bikes. Rest of you, you're with me. Franklin, you're driving the van. Norm, Kareem, you're in the back. I'm up front, all right? So that short bit of Michael and Franklin and the two accomplices getting in the car was actually really cool. Not only did you get to see the gauges and the switches inside of the vehicle, but you know, you got to see how Michael entered and you got to in watch the guys enter the back of the van. So I thought that was really cool because it's a viewpoint you've never gotten to see doing heist before. My liberty, my reputation. Same goes the other way. A crew will only work, only work when there's trust. So I'm going to speed up this portion right here. I'm sure you've heard this dialogue before. And basically, this is just us getting the van to the Vangelico store. And like I mentioned earlier, we are going in loud and dumb, which means we're going in guns a-blazing. But this is still cool. It's the drive, the anticipation. Getting to the jewelry store job and knowing that you're about to try to take away four or five million dollars. This is it. Let's move. Go get the bikes. Go! Ready? Ah! Ah! Ladies and gentlemen, this is your moment. Please don't make me ruin all the great work your plastic surgeons have been doing. On the floor, now! Go, 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 go! I got these cases. So that sequence right there was pretty cool. You definitely had to stop that guy from leaving the store. And the first person mode gives you kind of a, a more difficult challenge because it's hard to see where the cases are. It's hard to see where the jewelry is. And it makes it, like I said, a little bit more of a challenge to collect all the jewels. And you'll see in a minute, I can't actually find the last case. And that might cost me, you know, a couple of hundred thousand dollars or so. And it was also a cool sequence that I had to shoot the guy trying to run out who's going to sound the alarm or, or alert people outside. So this was a very cool heist. And do Doing it in first person mode was just as epic. Time's up, we gotta go. Yo, so for the last time, move it. Now get the fuck out my face. Oh. You forget a thousand things every day, pal. Make sure this is one of them. I'll see you at the river. Go. It's go time. All right, so we made the switch to Franklin and now we're on a motorcycle. And this was my first time driving a bike in first person in GTA 5. So I kind of had to take the training wheels off really fast. You know, I've got a bag of money on my back and I'm trying to keep up with these guys. And it was epic. I'm telling you, my adrenaline was going nuts because I was getting shot at and I was trying to keep up and I was trying not to crash as well. I'm driving blind back here. I can do with some directions, Kareem. 
cheat crashed this bike, man. That's what happens when you're working with fools. I guess we're all learning on the job. Keep going, okay? Yeah. Hold on. I lost my bearings. I don't know where to go. You gotta hold on. So by now, I had gotten a pretty good feel of the bike, and I also collected the other dead guy's money. You can tell as soon as he entered the tunnel, he dropped that bag. I ran over it with a bike and I was able to secure that money and I'm glad I did because my cut would have been significantly less if we had lost a third of the cut. So this guy's got the bike and now we're trying to get out of the sewers and get back to land and of course trying to reconnect with Michael and the other guys. So now we've just switched over to Michael and the fun part begins. We get to become a giant battering ram trying to barrel down all these cops and try to protect our motorcyclists who are carrying the money. So again, this is a super epic part of the heist. You essentially just get to ram over and destroy cops and it's a great time. Lester's around the corner at the lockup. So we did it. We just completed our first heist in first person mode. We were able to get money. We were able to rank up our crew. They got more skill increases and we made off with about four and a half million dollars, which is pretty good. We're going to pay off Martin Madrazo and get ourselves a nice little slice as well. So experiencing heist in first person mode is epic. It really changes the whole dynamic of the mission. You know, you really feel like you're there and you're involved in the mission and that completely changes the way you go about things. So again, this this is heist in first person mode hopefully you did enjoy this if you do like videos like this definitely feel free to leave a like that would be amazing and also subscribe to my youtube channel if you are new you like daily grand theft auto 5 videos like this and all the next generation content i'm going to be covering with all the way guys like i said thanks for watching take care and i'll see you guys in the next video all right people we need to split up they're gonna be looking for a crew i'll wire your cuts when the rocks have been sold that shit was crazy, dog. So what now? We get out of here. Keep our heads down. Hey, you did good, kid. What'd I tell you, Lester, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, look, everybody take off. Hey, Franklin. Listen, Lester and I got some things we gotta clean up. I want you to stop by the house a little later on. We'll celebrate, all right? All right. Okay. <laughs> huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, man. We're back in action. <laughs>